Well, this is a big day for the museum. This is uh, D-Day, 6th of June, which of course is uh, a major day in uh, World War II history. That's when we invaded France. Uh, and also for the museum, it's also our, our birthday because the, the museum came into being as the D-Day Museum on June 6, 2000, which was 12 years ago today. The guys who were on these boats or in these planes were going into one of the most uh, horrendous struggles and conflicts imaginable. The last year of the war was a very, very tough fight. 18-year-olds, 19-year-olds should have been at their senior prom. They are going to defend our freedom. There's pretty severe losses that day. We had a number of paratroopers that jumped into uh, flooded fields and uh, drowned before they could get all their equipment off. And of course, places like Omaha Beach, uh, a lot of Americans lost their lives there. And it's a pretty, pretty famous uh, invasion area. Uh, they estimate, I think overall, roughly about 2,500 Americans lost their lives uh, during the D-Day invasion. Anytime there's an opportunity to teach history, it's a good day. Without understanding history, it's awfully hard to understand where we are and where we're going. And so the whole museum idea, the notion that we can teach history and have school children in here and teach them something about the past is always a pleasure for us and a privilege to be able to do. It's, a, it's an opportunity for people to, uh, to actually be able to see the equipment that U.S. And, and German soldiers and a few other countries used during the war. And more than that, to be able to pick it up and try it for themselves. And uh, we have today, uh, today being D-Day, it's kind of a special day. I have a lot more stuff than I would normally have, but it's uh, a regular U.S. infantry, a Ger uh, American paratrooper, German soldier, SS soldier. And uh, I don't know of anywhere else where you can literally put on, except for the underwear, everything a guy who landed on D-Day was wearing that day. Uh, today's actually Living History Day for the uh, D-Day celebration. Uh, we're actually here portraying the, uh, the Waffen SS, uh, the German, more German elite side, um, to what, what the, uh, the normal you know, American soldier may have faced in and around the Normandy area. So many people, we were talking earlier with some people, we say we're out here on D-Day and June 6th. So many people, you know, what's the significance of that? I mean, what's, what's June 6th? Have no idea what it is and no idea what the United States went through to keep it the country they, the way that they wanted to keep it and to keep it going as the United States and not be overrun by, you know, tyrant rulers that might have been taken over the rest of the world and things, you know? The American spirit was never higher than during World War II and it was marked by uh, sacrifice, by courage, by teamwork, and by optimism.